Hello and welcome back everyone, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to talk about a game that has a soft spot in the hearts of millions of players, Rocket League, and how their owner, Psyonix, has basically sold them out. Now, I've never really been a huge player of the game Rocket League. Consider me to be your neutral onlooker into the current drama, who currently really has no stake in what happens, except for the ripples it sends throughout the gaming community. For those who don't know what Rocket League is, it's basically a video game where you hit giant soccer balls with cars and try to score on your opponent. Basically, it's soccer with cars. Sorry to any big time fans who don't believe that's an adequate explanation, but hey, there's millions of videos you can go watch on the game, along with an extremely healthy Twitch live streaming community. Now, unlike companies like EA in the gaming sphere, which are hated by most and disliked by the rest, the creators of Rocket League were highly respected as a company that cared for the community. Psyonix, as they are named, regularly visits the subreddit for the game and takes criticism and suggestions directly from the community. They've been friendly and supportive of their fellow customers, and up until this point, I've yet to hear a complaint about them. Actually, one of my good friends, Storm Warrior, always talked about how great they were, and the updates they were adding. Um, but things, things sadly change. So, although their massive hit Rocket League made them quite the profit, and this is just by my quick maths, at $20 a game and 6 million copies sold, at least, uh, they're looking at about $120 million in gross revenue, and, and that's a conservative number. That's not counting, like, any other platform other than Steam. Uh, they have esports competitions rising across the globe. Basically, their community is very healthy, they have good sales, and, uh, they've just been growing lately. It's been going pretty well for Rocket League. But on May 1st, everyone got quite the shell shock. uh, and everything is about to change, because through a very short and extremely inadequate explanation on their site's blog, Psyonix explained that they agreed to be bought out by Epic Games. Yes! Fortnite's Epic Games! The, the company that, like, we have learned to hate because they're buying all these games and making them exclusive to Epic's Games Launcher, which is also trash. Now, I, I could drone on and on about the issues with the Epic Games launcher. Uh, security flaws, stolen accounts, lack of features, exclusives, which should never be a thing. We, we were trying to get rid of exclusives, why are they coming back? Uh, let, let me let the community do that for me. Um, but first, let's actually read the blog post they made and see if it answers any questions. So here we are. The uh, infamous blog post. Psionics is joining the Epic family. Yay! It's like it's like you get adopted, except you got adopted to like a Chinese slave shop. Not very good. Not not a good improvement. <laughs> Today is a big day for us here at Psionics because just as the headline says, we're officially joining the Epic Games family. Your first question to news like this might be, what does this mean for Rocket League and its community? Wow, that, that's a great question. Hopefully they answer it. We're happy to say that the answers are only positive. Thank God they let us know. <laughs> we, we didn't even get to make that decision by ourselves. They're, they're just straight out telling us it's only positive. Nothing negative is going to happen to your family or friends or dog. Rocket League always has been and always will be a community-driven game, and now that we have joined forces with Epic, we will can be able to serve our community in even bigger and better ways. We understand that you might have additional questions about this new relationship, which is why we've assembled this quick back to answer some of your initial questions. I like how they took the time to answer... 2, 3... Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Five. Five questions. There's a, and one of them's a one, one word answer. One of them's a one word answer. And the rest are very short considering how big of a change this is. Okay, here's our first one. No really, what does this mean for Rocket League? In the short term, nothing will change at all. So you know, tomorrow everything's fine. We're so committed to providing the Rocket League with frequent updates that have new features, new content, and new ways to play the game as long as you'll have us. 
in the long term, we expect to bring Rocket League to the Epic Games Store. Ugh, that's disgusting. And to leverage our new relationship to grow the game in ways we couldn't do on our own before. Please no microtransactions. Well, I mean, there's already microtransactions, but please no forced microtransactions. We believe that bringing Rocket League to new audiences or with more support is a win for everyone. Does this mean the gameplay will be different? No. Actually, that's a good one. I'll give them points for that. Good on them for not changing the gameplay. I mean, at least it'll stay the same game. What does this mean for the Rocket League esports ecosystem? We think this is a great move because it significantly increases our potential reach and resources, just like it does for the game itself. We really do believe that you'll find our future in esports to be very exciting, especially in the near future. We're on June 21st to 23rd at the Prudential... S uh, this isn't really important, but another... It's just esports stuff. Okay, so that's kind of cool for people who are interested in that. What happens to the team? We are the same team that we have always been, only now we have the power and experience of Epic Games behind us. I like how they act like Epic Games is like some super experience. I mean, yes, they, they do own the Epic Games uh, engine, but Rocket League is not made on the Epic engine, first off. At least I don't believe so. Let's quickly check. Ep um, Rocket League... Because that would actually make more sense. Oh, it is! Rocket League is made in Unreal. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense that they're buying them. Uh, so maybe maybe the power and experience will help a little bit, considering they made the engine. Um, but let's, let's see. Where's the part about what's going to happen to the people who bought on Steam? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, let's read this. The success of Rocket League could, would not have been possible without you or the community. Okay, so this is basically sucking up to the fans. Thank you. Editors, no. We wanted to clarify something for you after today's news. This must have been after the backlash. Rocket League is and remains available on Steam. Anyone who owns Rocket League through Steam can still play it and look, can look forward to continued support. Thanks. This still answers so few questions. I'm glad they added that, but notice notice the wording here. It remains available on Steam right now. Is and remains available. It doesn't say will remain. It says remains as in right now. And, and, and even worse, it really doesn't sound good when you just say continued support. That sounds like you're just going to do it as like a back-end thing. But that's where we're going to go into what the actual community said because they worded it much better than I ever will. So uh, let's jump over to those, shall we? Sanix, with all due respect, your epic family fac sucks. <laughs> wow, they really went straight out with that. I really want to trust that you're going to do what's right for the community. I want to be able to sit here and sing your praises and genuinely believe that everything is going to be sunshine and rainbows and fluffy adorable puppies. But come on, I know you know that there are questions players are definitely going to have that simply weren't touched on at all. Will players be able to continue to buy new copies of Rocket League on Steam? If not, will players be able to at least purchase the new DLC? If players can't purchase new DLC and we're effectively forced to move to Epic Games for any new content, what's going to happen to all of our items in progress? Will we be able to transfer them over? If not, will we be able Will we just have to give up our season rewards? What about certified items? I have bald cat ears with over 75,000 goals on them that I have been excitedly waiting to see 100,000. Will players like me just have to start over? I should have inserted that. Um, in Rocket League, it's very one of the most popular things. Just like on CSGO, you have weapon skins. You do have a ton of customizations to your cars and stuff that you can buy. So inventories, if they don't transfer between Steam and the Epic Games Store, it will be an... Uh, an absolute storm of angry players. You can't believe we're talking about people who invest literal thousands of dollars into their inventories. Um, I, I can only imagine how ridiculous that would be. Okay, for that matter, will Steam and Epic players be able to trade with each other at all? Or will items be forever locked to a specific platform like the current lack of cross-platform trading seen between PC and consoles? Will this mean that alpha items and retired crate items will be forever absent on Ep Epic? What about players whose main car can't even technically be obtained anymore because they came from an expired crate? 
What about workshop maps? Do we just have to give up on challenge maps and for fun mods unless we want to go back to the old way of manually copying and installing files? Does that fall in the community to come up with some sort of alpha console or Bax mod style alternative to installing modded maps? Another big thing about um, Rocket League is its uh, Rocket League is its modding community. There are uh, hundreds of thousands of mods out there that you can install for Rocket League and Steam's Workshop is extremely convenient. You just tap install. And while I know this isn't a big one for a lot of people, there are still those who it matters to. What about Linux? Epic Games doesn't have any official Linux support. If Rocket League no longer offers DLC for Steam after being pulled from the store, are Linux users just out of luck if they want any new content? And, and that's a big one, considering the owner of Epic Games has actively attacked Linux and Linux users. Uh, I'm pretty sure they compared, like, uh, Linux... They used some ridiculous comparison with uh, Linux users. Installing Linux is sort of the equivalent of moving to Canada when one doesn't like US political trends. Nope, we've got to fight for the freedoms we have today where we have them today. That may be the literal dumbest quote I've ever heard. How does that relate in any way to anything technological? It, it makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. How is how is installing Linux the equivalent of moving, moving to Canada? It, it makes no sense. Linux is open source, and it's actually amazing at a lot of things that Windows and Mac suck at. I use Linux for some of my programming because it's just easier. Anyways, um... Ignoring their complete outcasting of entire group of gamers there. I'm sure this isn't even all of the p questions on players' minds. Hell, if being honest, most of these are just the ones I've thought of because they're personal to me. I'm sure there's more. Cyanix, despite my frustrations, I love your game. I want to have 6,000 hours in it. If I didn't, 6,000 hours is a lot. But you had to have known that this sort of announcement was going to be met with some pushback, and there's plenty of questions that could have been answered in that fact that would have helped players feel a little less on edge this evening. So to ask something brought up in the fact that it wasn't properly addressed, no, really, what does this mean for Rocket League? I see what they did there, because it, like, answered that question twice, but it never actually answered it. Okay, so with the other ones, nice, they added fact with question with answers no one cares about and missing one question everyone will want the answer for. What about Steam version and lack of it? I think it's answer itself. Slightly broken English, but we get the point. Um, they may have made an update to it. These comments were written before they put that little update at the bottom of the blog, but that update still didn't explain it. They are not outright telling us whether or not they're going to stop the sale of Rocket League. They're saying right now it's available, but I think they're just very much avoiding saying it. We are removing Rocket League from Steam, and they, they aren't even going to be held liable. There's nothing holding them to actually treating both of the uh, platforms the same. They could at one time just dump their Steam users, and they probably will. It's Epic Games. They don't have a good reputation for this sort of thing. Uh, but continuing. So does this mean that Linux and Mac users will no longer be able to buy Rocket League? We believe that bringing Rocket League to new audiences with more support is a win for everybody. Hypocrites. Uh, that's They're making fun of uh, the Rocket League team here because Rocket League was quoted as saying, uh, when they were looking at more cross-platform stuff, that, that's the exact quote they said. We believe that bringing Rocket League to new audiences with more support is a win for everybody. And now, after Epic handed them a bag of cash, they're just dropping Linux. No question asked. Uh, or, maybe after this backlash, they'll go back on that. Who knows? Congrats! You're no longer an indie dev that needs my financial support and advocacy. Yeah, not a single key. You would not believe how many comments here are talking about how people are not going to be buying cosmetics and how they're not going to be buying any more game keys. Uh, I don't- I don't understand- Oh, oh, key to open create- okay, never mind. Not- not like buying the game again. That makes more sense. I answered that question myself. <laughs> 
I have bought a ton of keys over the years because I got the game for free and enjoyed supporting a small studio that listened to the people who play the games. Two weeks ago, someone purchased $70 worth of V-Bucks on the credit card I forgot to delete from my son's profile. I checked, he didn't receive the in-game currency. As of today, nobody at Epic Games has responded to a single one of my multiple emails. Long story short, Rocket League has seen the last dollar it will get from me and I encourage everyone to remove their credit and debit cards from their accounts now. Google Epic Games and credit card, it's a huge issue and there's a class action suit that has been started. You've been, you've gotten yourself into bed with some pretty sleazy folk psionic. I hope whatever they paid was worth it. This right here, I'm kind of mad on the whole Epic Kate and I'll wait to pass the judgment till I see the changes, but the huge security privacy issues are what really concerns me. Add on the horrible non-existent customer support and if I'm forced to use a launcher, then I'm partially considering just dropping Rocket League entirely. Uh, when it comes to support, I won't say that Steam has fantastic support, but you know what? I got locked out of my account once, and I got back into it within, I think it was actually the next day Steam responded, and they had a representative who helped me get back into my account uh, by taking pictures of an old Steam gift card. It was actually a really interesting process, so, uh, but the issue is Epic Games being a uh, Chinese majority-owned company now, which has Fortnite, which is all they really care about, they're just not going to be able to pay attention to Rocket League like it used to be. So, where does that leave us? I mean, clearly nobody likes the change. I, I mean, I've seen nobody respond positively. There's people who have had the meh response, but I haven't seen any positive responses to this. Um, I don't see any positives for the community. They didn't have... Even though they said everything is positive, they didn't have any real specific things other than, oh, it'll be bigger and better. And the loss of Linux support is going to be a major hit to thousands of lawyer, uh, loyal players who have no other choice. Uh, what kind of company lets go of customers for no reason- Oh, wait, <laughs> never mind, there's money involved. Anyways, that's the current drama with Rocket League. Uh, what are your thoughts? Make sure to leave them below as you hit like and subscribe. And as always, hail Vuperia. If you guys enjoyed this style of video going over what's going on in certain gaming communities, let me know. We can do it again sometime. Bye!